This video shows examples of how i3D robotic stereo systems may be used to produce 3D models of a scene. It further describes how to use our Stereo Vision Toolkit software. As described in our introductory video, Stereo Vision consists of two cameras which view a scene at slightly different angles to determine distance. Here we show examples from our high resolution Phobos system which consists of 5 megapixel cameras. On the first tab, the user may view the 2D images from each camera. Here we see various objects including hand tools and small sections of cable. The user may optimize the 3D matching of a scene by changing parameters on the second tab. On the left side we see images acquired from the left camera and on the right we see a 3D representation of the scene in the form of a disparity map. The distance of each pixel is displayed as a color with blue being further away and red being closer to the camera. On the third tab, a point cloud of the scene is displayed where the view can be manipulated by the user. The user may also move around the scene and can zoom in on objects. Here we can see the resolution is high enough to observe the Allen key and drill bits in the 3D scene. The resolution of the scene limits the speed at which the 3D information may be produced. Phobos, our high resolution system, has three different algorithms which produce different accuracies. This means the user can switch between algorithms that produce high resolution models every 5 seconds or use lower resolution algorithms at approximately 1 to 3 frames per second. For real-time applications, we recommend using DMOS our low resolution stereo vision system. Here we can see DMOS may be used to move around the scene to produce 3D models in real time. As with the Phobos system, the end user can choose to view the point cloud or the disparity map of the scene. Thank you for your attention.